Okay, um, good day class um, to all students enrolled in quantitative methods. Um, as I have mentioned in our as I have mentioned in our Facebook group that um, we might not have frequent virtual meetings um, using uh, Zoom and other video conferencing um, platforms. But however, uh, we will conduct virtual meetings through Facebook group and our group chat. And we will also utilize the DNS elements. I believe, I hope everyone have already in, uh, na enrolled na sila dun sa DNS LMS. So, um, I, I, will, I will discuss right now uh, the module one of our course which is quantitative methods and i'll be first um introduce to you the different parts of the modules okay All right um so the first part this is a pre-recorded video and this it, this can be accessed through uh, youtube since uh youtube is a free video streaming sites and there are um free um data package that utilize uh that give um, one gigabyte or three gigabytes of youtube um streaming so we, we have already agreed on it as a Facebook group, okay? So before we proceed with the different lessons of module one, uh, I will um, introduce, uh, present to you the different parts of the module. So I will upload uh, later um, the different parts of the module after, um, after this um, lesson, after recording this lesson, and I hope you will first um, uh, watch this um, videos first before proceeding to the lessons. Okay, so um, the our course is we utilize flexible learning, which is the main um, modality is modular approach. As, as, I, as I've said in our orientation, uh, modular approach is our uh, main modality, but we will be using also other modalities such as virtual meetings and pre-recorded videos and etc. Okay? Um, I will emphasize also that um, uh, module, our approach in the module is through self-learning basis. Okay, so this pre-recorded class, uh, medyo summary na lang siya ng module, but uh, at your end kasi uh, you need to read the entire module and answer the different activities and applications in the module. So right now, I'll be discussing, I will present to you the different parts of the module in our uh, subject or in our course. So we have first the cover page. Um, the cover page is basically the first page ng course pack natin sa module. And then the preface, nandun yung um, vision mission and the different um, uh, information about the college. And then nandun din yung uh, description, course description, the course outcomes, and the different course information of the quantitative methods. And uh, module of, kasi uh, the course pack, that is our entire module, the course pack is, um, there are a lot of different uh, modules. Um, I believe we will uh, be having five modules. So, dili na ko siya i-upload tanan sabay para di po ta ma-overload uh, dahil ba. No? Masyak dahil tagala, atag dahil si Sir Dagan kay module. So, Pero, ang akong buhat is isahon na kutanan o upload ang module. And each module, there are different lessons, a number of lessons. Isahon na kutanan, isahon na kutanan, record tanan. Okay? 
So, uh, sige, before tamo proceed, dira, dira, dira sa, sa different parts of the module. So, module overview, the overview, objectives, and lessons, the uh, learning outcomes. Um, basically, I, as I have mentioned last time, that um, the course outcomes, this is course outcomes, course outcomes are the expected outcomes or results that you need to exhibit uh, by the kayo as the student so ito yung mga uh, sorry code learning outcomes yeah, kailangan yung ma-achieve on our module kasi different pala yung ano, course outcomes and learning outcomes so the course outcomes in the preface are the outcomes you need to exhibit before you will end the uh, upon uh, upon finishing the entire course of quantity methods so the learning outcomes are the objectives you need to achieve upon finishing one module so again ang ating entire course pack there are five modules and each modules there are two to four i think lessons okay depende sa module so I will upload, um, ang basis ng pag-upload ko is per module. So, hindi siya per lesson. Although, in each module, there are uh, lessons that you need to, to answer. Uh, and then, time frame, um, it will be measured by weeks. So, kung sa outline natin, by hours. Okay. So, don't worry kasi uh, I, I believe I already have introduced to you that the different um, topics in our orientation under the course outline. And then, introduction is the overview of the lesson. Okay? And then, ito na yung parang um, ano, uh, the other context of the module. So, we do have activity uh, so, we do, you need to answer this. This is an activity exercise before you start with the uh, discussion. Okay? So, activity is the parang opening activity and analysis are analysis questions of the lesson. So, this, this two, pwede, may mga lessons na um, continuing siya or combine yung activity at analysis ng section. May mga lessons din na separate siya. Okay? So, don't worry. Um, I will provide a uh, parang uh, link in the DNSC LMS kung saan yung submit yung mga output nyo sa activity and analysis na section of the lesson. And then, abstraction is the main discussion of the lesson. So, uh, as I mentioned, the module is a self-learning module. Okay, so you need to read um, the entire abstraction before answering the different assessments. Okay? So I hope me do understand with that arrangement. So itong, this pre-recorded video, it, this is just a parang summary of the abstraction of each lessons. So, in required pa rin na you have read everything in the lesson in the course pack that I will provide sa, sa module. Okay? So, abstraction, you will read the entire discussions and lessons there. And then, applications, this is the, after reading, hopefully that you have read, understand, and analyzed the discussion, you will be given an exercise or quiz through application section. Okay? So, given na din yan siya, and then you will answer, uh, you will provide your answer sa DNSC LMS. Okay? So, hindi ko na i-remove yung mga questions doon sa lessons, but, um, but your answers will need to be um, submitted sa DNSC LMS. And then, meron din closing message, parang ano lang, motivating lang that you have finished the lesson. Okay, so, etong activity to closure, magbalik-balik na siya every lesson. 
So, ibutang na itong sa module 1 na kahit tulong ka lesson, magbalik-balik na siya. So, sa lesson 1 na ay Activity Analysis Abstraction Application Closure. So, sa lesson 2 na na po yung Activity Analysis Abstraction Application Closure. Okay? <coughs> so, sa module assessment, um, ito, ito yung parang major assignment. Okay? Once you have finished the three lessons in module 1, example. So, module assessment, sometimes it will be individual and it will be, um, ano, it will be uh, by group. When I say by group, it will be either by pair or by trio. Hindi na na mo lampas ang upat. Ang upat mo, so dua-dua mo, <laughs> by pair, by pair kayo. Okay? And then, uh, module summary, summary of the lessons. Okay? So, I will, ano na lang dito, I will just mention here na lang na this is by individual. So, by individual din, um, uh, activity analysis and application. Sa ano, sa module adjustment, it could be by individual, by pair, or trio. Okay. Sir, ka nang kami should mag kinsay magbuot sa among ka ano sir ka group. Ako ah, kamo na magbuot ana kinsay yung ka group. Okay? Kamo na magbuot ana oh, kinsay yung kauban sa grupo. Mas sana na moy group, basta dili na mo lampas og kulo. Okay, sa module assessment. But activity analysis and application should be by individual on each lessons. Okay, ang module assessment, okay, pa naman na siya, mura siya exercise sa entire module sa tulok ka lesson. So, I will give you the freedom kung gusto ba mo mag by individual, by pair, or by trio. So, dili pwede mag upat o upat. Module summary is, ano lang, summary lang sa lessons, mura sa mga libro, ano siya, kanang mga summary of the entire discussion of the lessons. So, mato siya ang parts of the module. Over page, preface, module overview, learning outcomes, um, specific ni siya to the lesson, time frame introduction is also specific to the lesson, activity analysis abstraction, application closure is specific to the lesson, and module assessment and module summary is specific to the module. Okay? If you do have questions, don't hesitate to just send me a um, uh, question dun sa FB group. So, every week, mag-post na lang po dito o ano, um, parang thread. And then, dito ta mag-discuss if you do have questions. So, schedule of submission of module assessments. Okay. Um, so, for module 1, we do have 3 lessons. So, I will schedule the submission of the module. Uh, Kapagining activity, analysis, application, and assessment. So, siya upat ka book na dapat hindi masubmit. So, these are uh, meeting is submit. So, module 1, lesson 1. Activity Analysis Application, Module 1, Lesson 2, Activity Analysis Application, Module 1, Lesson 3, Activity Analysis Application. So, these three lessons, um, buka to na ninyo within the first three weeks atong klase. And start karon, And then, submit ninyo siya by after uh, September 26. Okay? Oh, dapat na submit mo sa September 26. Wait lang. Ako siya siyang panahon. Hmm. Ah, si adjust na lang nato no? Muna lang nato ni siya as October 3 na lang. Okay, October 3 na lang ni siya. Okay, late naman ta ng so good. Kapipod mo. <laughs> so, October 3 ni siya. And then, kaning module assessment, October 10. Okay. So, please be reminded na um, kaning activity analysis application by individual na siya. And then, ang module assessment uh, by individual, by pair, and by trio. Okay? 
So, mauna na siyang schedule of submission. I'll post lang kong link sa DNC LMS um, on where to submit your the output of your activity analysis application and your module assessment. So, if you do have questions, I will just post um, <coughs> uh, a thread in um, ano, in our Facebook group. And dito na mo mag-comment and then I will respond to your questions. Or yun ba mo appreciation or violent reaction. Ayun lang po violent, no? Di man ta mga violent. Okay. So, mo to siya for our mo to siya for our <coughs> parts of the module. Okay? So, pwede nyo balik-balik ko ni Shartan Ao para makasabot mo. Okay? Ako lang isummarize na ang atong module A, we call it as the course pack and each course pack, as uh, course pack na to, na ay lima kabuk modules which I have presented in our orientation. And then, sa atong module 1 na atay tulo kabuk lessons and then na present na ko ang different parts of the module. And then, I buy individual uh, <coughs> na mga assessment, which is activity analysis and application, and then module assessment, which is by pair, by trio, or by individual. Also, I will um, emphasize also nga self-learning ni siya, ha? There might be some lessons na delete na nato kailangan of um, videos or recorded videos. Okay? So, na may nga na na lessons. So, I, I do hope you understand that. Okay, na since uh, you are in college also, dili kailangan na per me, hungit, hungit na lang me. Okay, but we under, I do understand our situation right now. That's why in our topics, medyo compress na siya. I-compare siya mga, sa mga previous na akong na klase in this course. So, na siya yung mga topics na wala na na include Okay, so again, emphasize na ako na some of the topics will be, ano, will be self-learning. Okay, so that ends my discussion of the parts of the module. We will now proceed with lesson one, which will be, we will now proceed to the next video.